Hello everyone. It's time for Shadow of Judgment. It's for this is for the week of August 2nd to the 9th. Thank you all for joining me today for this lovely little participation. For any of you who are new to Shadow of Judgment, where we look at the background, the shadows, what's in the circle, what's in the corners, what might be hidden, what might be the shadow side of anything that's going on for the week. Things you might not know about, things you might be subconscious about, things that are just like a surprise party, but you don't like surprise parties, possibly. Could be stuff like that, or maybe you do like surprise parties. Really up to you. I just read the first card is air. I'm going to see what their, uh, but I screwed it up a little bit, so I'm going to pull another card and see what their um, actual card for the week is. Let's see. Ah! Knight of Swords Reverse. That's your card, air. And you came right back up, so good deal. Gemini, we're starting with you once again. Remember, everyone, the air signs, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and jupiter so check your charts if it resonates with you good deal if not don't worry about it cross watchers switch where need be of course you know the drill if you want a personal reading oh my email facebook and instagram are all in the description box below First readings free of charge. Anything else after that comes with the price, of course. And tips and donations are always welcome. Let's see. Gemini, Gemini, ooh, Gemini. There you are. You are not going over to somewhere. You are not trying to move the heartbreak. Doot. Trying to maintain a little bit of too much control, I feel like, a little bit for your week. Did I say that this is for the 2nd to the 9th? Well, I said it now, so there we go. Let's see. Now, before when I first shuffled for you guys, it was the, uh, yeah, same scenario. Okay. Um, before when I shuffled, it was the Three of Swords reverse, so it's still right here. Uh, so there is some sort of healing from a heartbreak involved here, but look at this. I kind of feel like someone's really being stubborn about it, like wanting to stay heartbroken so they can stay on guard, you know, just wasting time staying in their guard, not offering something up. Meanwhile, this person who's an emperor is um, kind of being stingy looking at all this, not going towards it, letting the wheel turn on this entire scenario. Now, there is a tower that someone's running away from. That's Booty Call Man. He's running away. He's running away, but he still ends up being this emperor right here. Just look it over. You could have fire somewhere. You could also be dealing with another air sign. Uh, they're trying to fight it off because they're comfortable being by themselves. Or they're, like, getting what they need to on their own. Hmm. Let's see what they're trying to avoid. Like, I feel like they're trying to avoid the tower. And they'll do anything to fight. Like, if they're going to turn around, they're going to fight it off. But it's almost like they're fighting it off with, like, just being cool. Like, she's got nine pentacles, and this would be the tenth one. But it's, she's like, nah. Give my, that's for the birds, and the birds don't even want it. They want this delicious apple I got for them. Checking to see what this tower is. Oh, um... This lack of commitment. There's no movement with it. Like, someone's just avoiding the fact that there's no commitment here, and nothing's coming of that. It's kind of like you're like, almost like expecting someone to make an offer, but they're not. They have their head turned and they're not going towards it. Mm. But that's what you probably have to deal with, Gemini. So And cross watchers, of course. So interchange where you need to. But that's what's going on for your shadow this week. Move that all willy-nilly. I still need to shave down the edges of this. Not too terribly bad, just enough. And then I can glue it in place. I might take this other one other um glass out and use it to make a different picture because that'd be cool because i got a blackboard okay libra you guys might be confused a little bit just a little bit 
You're weighing your options out on where to go or if you should stick around and say people's fools. The five of pentacles popped up for a second, but it went right back in. So let's see. You are looking for a reason to stay, Libra. Um, possibly mother figure. That could be you right there because that is the empress. Could also be a Taurus or a female Aries you're dealing with as well. Um, needing to move on for greater things, happier things, things that bring you joy. But someone's looking for a reason to stay, so. Uh. Hmm. This is interesting. It's like the Queen of Wands is looking for this um, Empress person, and that could be you, and you're just ignoring them with the High Priestess. Uh, you want to walk away, close this fucking door, just be like, nah, dude, nah. Like, this Queen of Wands, like, she's powerful, but like, when I look at her, she's also young and naive. Like, not understanding how the rule goes specifically. Like, you know, try to, like, I almost want to feel like she wants to try to dictate to the Empress, but she knows better. Yeah, she's not, no, she's not going to do that. <laughs> like, she wants to, just because she's in kind of possibly a bratty mode, but she's not going to do shit. She ain't doing nothing. Meanwhile, you are kind of possible. I feel like this is you, Libra, and you're kind of dealing with how you had to leave things. While this person's still looking around for a reason to stick around, trying to act all happy and sunshiny and such. But, like, they're not taking the leap forward because they know better. Like, you're probably done. That's why your back's turned. Still want to give their love to you, though. Or just the open door policy is just like, please, please, baby. Yeah. Wow, I am really on point with this today. Ooh, quite a few cards popped up, and I'll, then I'll pull the last one. Actually, no, I don't need a last one since all these popped up. Um, it's a burden that this shit won't end. Just straight up. Like, it's not dying. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, right? You also got Cancer Pisces as well in here. Um, the fire signs, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, I feel like, you know, there is this feeling of um, trying to get away from stuff that went awry and not in your favor, trying to move forward, trying to be at peace, keep your emotions at a calm distance, a thousand yard stare so it don't drive you crazy, right? So yeah, Libra, like, I, I think that you're just not trying to deal with how this went down while this other person is just really sad that it didn't work out with them, you know? Like, they want to try to come over to you, but you, but you, once again, nah, nah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Like, they gotta walk away because the door is closed. They still want to offer their cup to you, though. Um, I feel like they might be a little bit having sleepless nights or there might even be miserable without you which libra would say of course they are i'm the best thing they've ever had you know like i could totally see y'all doing that <laughs> just being all nice and peaceful with it too just just throwing that shade and i know that shade like my father is a libra he does that shit a lot oh but yeah that's oh well, what are you gonna look at here on the board let's see how they're dealing with this mess like how are they tortured since we're gonna go that far also remember cross watchers you can switch this around this could be you and this could be libra uh they want to move forward as well i feel like more together than separate though Yeah, happier times, everyone getting along and such like that. Where everyone was together initially. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, one more. I'm going to be spoiling y'all. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, they want to work it out. Oh, they want to work it out. It's up to you, though. Really. But that's what you're going to be dealing with, possibly with your shadow, Libra. I keep dragging this floor down. I need to stop doing that. All right, Aquarius. It's time for your shadows. Let's see what's going on with y'all. Huh? Oh. What is happening for the week of Aquarius? Let's see. 
Aquarius, we got the Wheel of Fortune is not turning. Something's stuck when it comes to someone's possible success. Hmm. Or just feeling like they're comfortable with their money, their fundage, you know. Could also be dealing with individuality as well. And there's a truth or clarity of a moment that might come up. Something to do with like an open door. It's now closed. Well, not what? Okay, whatever. An open door is not closed. I could have swore that was upright when I picked it up. <clears throat> um, someone played way too many games and like someone walked away because of it. The truth of the matter is someone's got a mouth. Someone's got a mouth. Be like, hey, um, will you let me in, please, cancer? I might bring you some cheese. It's stinky old cheese. It's not even, like, blue cheese. It's just cheese with, like, it's regular, like, pasteurized American yellow cheese with just a bit of mold on it. They just smeared it on there, and now they're trying to pass it off. It's like a French, um, awesome thing, right? Lots of, um, cups knocked over. There's still two, but it's, like... Like, someone's paying more attention to these three cups than they are paying attention to these two cups because the two cups comes with the idiot with the falsified cheese, right? Person got a thousand yard stare. Like, they were good, then they played some head games and shit, and now it's like, oh my god. Like, I don't wanna. I, I, I'm not even looking at that. I'm not even gonna pay I'm not gonna. It's like they're stuck in their memory. <clears throat> Excuse me. It, like, it keeps them unhappy. Or it just makes them unfortunately happy. Yeah, look at that. This person wants to come for happiness. Despite their mouth and their shitty attitude. I, f I feel like the page of ones is always somebody who's a sneakster who has stinky feet, right? They're just a person you just don't want to be around because it's like they're always up to something or they're trying to be up to something. Or they come in impulsively and just start shit without really even thinking about what they're doing. And it's like this person just wants to come in and be like, hey, my baby, let's just go get married. Let's just go get married. It's a really impulsive energy. It's just like, let's go do this while this person over here is just like moping over these freaking cups. Like, mm, I don't know. I closed this door for a reason. Like, I shut this door in your face and sent you, like, the King of Cups for a reason, right? Victory! Looking for a reason to stick around. And Queen of Wands right here. Hmm. Mm -mm. Aquarius. <clears throat> could be dealing with a water sign. Could be dealing with, I feel like, an air sign as well. Fire. Like, pretty much anybody who's not an earth sign, honestly. Anyone who isn't an earth sign, that's who you're dealing with. At the moment. Um, you're trying to get yourself set up for your own gains and shit. This person's still looking for a reason to stick around. And I feel like this person is just looking for a victory. But it could be the same page too because I almost feel like that. It's just like this person looks victorious. This person is trying to come towards them. And it's like there's a queen right here looking young. Um, sociable. She might not. She might not be all that way wet around the ears, but she's getting there. If her hair wasn't shaped like an earmuff, uh, she's got a kitty too. So that's always a bonus. Hmm. What are we looking for? You. What's up with this Queen of Wands right here? Who's she supposed to be? What's she doing? What's she looking at? She's looking. At, I mean, she is looking at this person who's trying to stick around. You know. For a reason to stay, because I think she's the victor here. And she's staring at this person who's looking for a reason to come back or whatever. Uh, no. No. <laughs> like, just straight up, nah. Like, and that's the five right there. Like, this person's mourning both of these situations, because I feel like they can't have this relationship, because the cup's not got knocked over because of a third party situation. So now she's just standing in her own, own nobility. She's not used to being, I think, independent. I mean, that could be you, Aquarius, exerting your independence at the start of it all. And then you grow a little bit more to the Queen of Wands. Still, like, getting your feet wet and figuring things out. But you're getting there. Anyway. But 
that was the reading, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. If you like, if you, if you, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe if you want to. No pressure. Um, it's all up to you, really. I love you all, and I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.